see what I have here. I've got this rigged up and set up to use a router to remove the waste. I've got a secondary piece, a, a sacrificial piece, if you will, that's attached to the, my board with a couple clamps where the edge of my board and the edge of the sacrificial piece are flush. That is actually going to do is it's going to help carry the router so I'm not trying to balance on a three quarter inch end. And that's a vital part of what you're doing here because it makes the work so much easier. And I said router. Small trim routers are a blast to use for this operation. If you don't have a trim router, this is the time I'd think about getting one. I really like this small router. There's also the uh, small router that's available from uh, Home Depot. The uh, Rigid is also a really nice little trim router. Um, I'm going to do this with a straight bit. In this case, I have a 3 8 inch straight bit. You have to make sure that the cutting length on your bit is more than or at least equal to the depth that you have to cut. And we're going to adjust the cut of the bit to be right at our scribe or our baseline. That's how you set this all up. All right, with this set up, I want to run through one of the cuts while we're out here. And you can see the action, how my arms are, things like that. And then we'll get you in close and let you see what happens as the bit's actually cutting and uh, how I'm guiding this. So one of the neat things about using the router is the speed. I mean, chopping these out by hand takes a little bit of time. But when you put the router in there, it's a real quick operation. And you can see how easy and clean they are. Take a look at this. We pull out our sacrificial piece. And you can take a look at these. So here you can see this one obviously is cut by the router. This one was one that we've hand chopped. See the crater that's in here? Those kind of things are OK. In fact, because that tail goes over that, you'll never see it. But look how smooth these are, and again, how fast this whole operation is. The only thing we have is these to get rid of, and I'll show you a trick to get those out. So of. how are we going to remove that waste at the side? You can't take your saw in there, it's not going to fit. And when you grab a chisel, you have to be at so many different angles, it really becomes hard to do. So here's a little trick that I came up with. This is a hacksaw blade. And I know it's a metal cutting blade, but we're removing such a small part, it really makes this operation easy. So all you really need to do is make sure you're cutting on the pull stroke, lay it down in the socket, and put your finger on top so it stays flush, and then just start dragging it back and forth. Until that piece comes out of the way. Now I've got a nice sharp corner, 90 degree angle, flat bottom, and everything works great. This is a neat little way to get this taken care of.